They have a uh, an early 2000s hydro gear transmission in a um, Cubby Cadet tractor that it's starting to it, once it warms up it doesn't want to go up hills um, it jerks a lot so I know that there's trans internal transmission problems I already changed the fluid reinstalled new fluid see if that cured the problem um, doesn't so I'm gonna go over I'm gonna remove it and go through it rebuild it already loosened up the belt on the bottom now I'm gonna take off the fan so I can get the um, so I can get the belt slipped all the way off Couple little linkages. Pin. And there was a spring going through it. Pull this whole mechanism out of the way. Just some sort of safety switch. Probably a neutral safety switch. This is the bypass. Allows you to push the tractor. Let's pull that out. Has a spring on it as well. A bypass lever. Looks like we've got all that disconnected. Um, as far as my drive rod, I need to now. It looks like remove the brake, the brake spring down there. Do that from the under, underside. Okay, this is a hydro gear. It is a 618-0379. This right here is your your uh, push release, so you can push it or tow it. And the spring holds it where you want it to be. This is your input shaft that your engine turns. This is your brake, and this is your brake lever. This is your forward reverse controls. I'm just draining the oil out the top. You can drain it out the bottom as well. Just thought I'd show you what this, how everything works on this. Um, this spring attaches to there, and this is your um, your automatic centering. So this little roller right here fits down in this valley and as you push it forward that might be forward that might be reverse I don't know as soon as you let off the spring tension rocks us back right to right to center same with back let go rocks it right back to center the spring tension on this See? so it's even out so that's how that works forward back or the other way Draining the oil out the top, overflow. You can also drain the oil out of these by just removing 
this little um, pump mechanism. I think that's the bottom of the uh, the oil pump, but there it is directional. There is a little triangle, no square, St square rectangle um, mounted towards the back. So this is the back of the transmission. So there's the little teeny square. I'll show you. Right there, mounted towards the back of the tractor. I'll keep draining this. I'm gonna get it up on the bench and crack it open. Okay. Start removing some of the exterior stuff. All the brake stuff. Try to keep it in the same way it was. These are your brake pads. This one right here. There's another one on the other side of the brakes. Brake disc. And the way these work is pretty, actually just really simple. There's just two little metal rods and when you push, when you turn it, the divots push the rods in, which in turn applies the brake. Pretty basic. Brake disc. Reinstall this loosely. It's the easiest way to never to not lose bolts. And nuts. Just to put them back when you're done with them. Set my brake disc aside. Okay. Get something to put them in. Now, a thing, whenever you're taking a cover off like this, you want to make sure you look at what size they are. Because sometimes there's one longer one or a couple longer ones. Nope, they're all the same length. Oil pump. This thing actually goes in there. Oil pump gear goes in there as well. I'm going to take a fresh paper towel. And I can pull this off. A little bit of metal shavings, a little bit, but uh, the most part is pretty clean. Got a little spring here with a check ball. This is actually your filter. You can actually replace these, you can buy replacements. This actually doesn't look too dirty. Actually doesn't look bad at all. This be a magnet? Where is this? I believe this is a magnet. Doing his job of holding all of the metal shavings. Good. Just really fine metal shavings. Um, basically there's two parts. This right here is actually your motor, your pump motor. This is your motor and your pump is under here. So your engine, the input shaft that your engine turns is directly under here. And that is what, um, that is what your motor turns and through hydraulic pressure and through this main block, 
it turns out. So this is the main part of your transmission. This spec here is just going to be essentially your differential. Uh, you can see your differential gear right there. And you can see that really small gear. This small gear right there, which is actually connected directly to your brake, is actually what your motor's turning. So it's turning that at very high speed and in turn gears it down to your wheels 